Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about why I personally have a lot of faith in Tales of Tomoria and how not only will it succeed, but I believe the game is going to be an incredible experience with devs who listen and it's just overall going to be a really, really nice ride. So, let's get right into the video. So, the first thing I would like to talk about is the time. Now, it has been around two years since Tales of Tenorio started development, and you might say that is a long time for three stadiums, but it does give so much time for the game to be properly polished, finished, everything like that. And you've probably seen some examples of the game, how it's changed from going from good to great, and if that's the quality we are getting on release, then it's just going to be really nice to see. And I think it will be worth it in the end. The next thing I would like to go over is the developers. Now, I just want to say, as an official content creator for Tales of Tenorio, I have a level of access to communicate with the developers that others do not. So I get to, you know, interact with them a lot more than the average person, right? And from my experiences, they are super nice and helpful, you know, always responding to a lot of questions about a variety of different things. And even if you're not a CC, they still answer quite a few questions in the official questions channel, and they do pop their head in general with the official Tales of Tenorio Discord server quite often. As well as the fact, Lucky HD is on the development team. And if you know anything about Lucky HD, he is vocal about a lot of problems that go on. So I think there will be a much better, like, you know, just response in getting some of these things fixed if they do happen to occur in Tales of Tenorio, or they may not even happen at all. In fact, the devs overall are just really, really good at, like, fixing a lot of problems. Like, for example, quite a lot of people didn't like some animations that were in the trailer. But these got to the devs and they were fixed up. So, we have quite a lot of faith in issues being resolved, which is really, really good to see. The final thing I would like to talk about are past examples. Tales of Tomorrow has had plenty of time to learn from the mistakes and blunders of other creature capturing games on Roblox. And with Lumia Legacy being the most infamous and the most prevalent of all of these, it is with no surprise that the devs I am almost certain of have seen the mistakes and issues that Lumion has had over its life. And I'm sure they've been able to learn and think of ways to just avoid that to keep Tales of Tenorio in a good place when it does drop. Now, the reason why I did make this video is because, especially from Lumion Legacy, a lot of people, including myself, are going to have trust issues with updates, communication, and things like that because of how patchy it was with Lumion Legacy. But with Tales of Tenorio, I genuinely think that this won't be a problem just because of how the devs have had so much opportunity to learn polish and just improve things for the game so that's about it for this video if you guys did find it interesting please make sure to like and subscribe as it'd be greatly appreciated and tales of Tenorio is getting so close just 11 more days from when I'm making this video. So, if you guys are excited, you know, comment that below. Anyway, I will see you in another video. Goodbye.